says, all right, Devin Linehart. I hope I'm coming in pretty well. Let me increase the volume a bit. All right, that's better. So straight up, this little video is to acknowledge all you uncultured individ individuals about the certain uh, powers of My Hero Academia characters and how they're like a certain homage to superheroes and supervillains of the U.S. Now, a lot of people actually knew this, but they don't know the characters. So, anyways, let's get things started. Now, Zelda Notch did tell me to do this, and, like, if anything, if I don't, I want to hear the end of it. Because he's, like, he really likes My Hero Academia, and Rachel is, like, literally telling me to do this as well, because, like, she and I are going to be, like, reacting very soon to Team Four Stars, My Hero Academia, in five minutes, and the other one in eight. And she's looking forward to that. And so, without further ado, I'm going to activate the display mode, and we're going to look at the first individual, number 10. That which is the comparison of Kotsky Bakugo, aka Explosion Murder God Dynamite. Ooh, this guy, you know, his overall quirk. What was it again? Let's take a look, shall we? All right, Explosion. He sweats nitroglycerin. So, what overall hero and or villain? that overall represents Kotsky Bakugo and the U.S. comics or, like, cartoons. Let's find out. Let's take a sentence and it is Nitro. Ooh. His powers and abilities are releases, explosives, and energy blasts. He's from the Yost universe, and if anything, his mutant power is Time Bomb. No, if anything, it does the same thing you think. Yes, explosions. Or better yet, as Hagar would say, explosions. Now, what hero are we going to look at next? And y'all seeing it right here. For My Hero Academia, we got NG Tokoroki, aka Endeavor. His quirk, of course, Hellflame. Oh, there's not anything that's gonna get me demonetized today. Thanks a lot, Little Miss YouTube, you freaking whore. So, what hero or villain from the West? that his overall power reflects. Well, it's none other than Johnny Storm, AKA the Human Torch. The more you know, the faster you burn. That's how it works. Next, we're going to the next My Hero Academia before I'm literally burnt alive from these puns. And y'all just can't handle the truth. And the puns along with the jokes. Because it's like none of y'all actually have a funny button to begin with. We have Mount Lady. A.K.A. Yu Tokoyami. Her. Tokoyama. My bad. I mixed up her name. Oh, I'm going to get torched in the comments. Ooh, that's a spicy made the ball. So we're going to move over to her quirk. And her quirk is gigantification. Hmm. Now, what hero or villain does she overall mirror? And the board says, Oh, wouldn't you know it? The villain Giganta from Wonder Woman and Marvel U DC Universe in general. Her overall ability? Well, she can increase in size. Now, both of these ladies, mm, 
not gonna lie. One's a hero, one's the villain. One will just straight up crush you to death. The other one will crush you by snoo snoo. Who's going to win in the battle of the giant ladies? Eh. Who really cares? They're giant ladies. Next one, we have from My Hero Academia, Miku, uh, Himiko Toga. Now, her quirk. Ooh, that's a sassy one. Transform. As long as she drinks somebody's blood, she's able. Or, like, inject it into herself, copy that person's form and her quirk or their quirk. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, anybody wants a stalker soon to lay anyone? Because, god dang, y'all got a problem. Now, what hero or villain in American culture reflects her? Let's find out. And from Marvel, we have the infamous Mystique, aka Raven Darkholm, the mother of the X Men, better known. Oh, what was his name? Oh, jeez, man, this is gonna bother me. Oh, y'all know him. He's uh, he's like uh. Oh, he teleports everywhere and like smoke uh, and like um. Oh God, this is gonna bother me. This is gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me. Ah! I hate it when I like mess up. Oh well. But if anything, she's able to assume the identity with her mutant power as long as she looks at you or in the movies. Touches you. Oh, she can copy your looks. Not gonna lie. Miratoga and even Raven, aka Mystique. Ooh, yeah. No, I do not want to run into those ladies in a dark alley. Next character. We have Snipe. Now, according to, like, the Abridged series, he has an auto bot. Uh, an auto, uh, you know, an aim bot. But his actual quirk is homing. Ooh, yeah, look at those stats. Power, speed, technique, intelligence, cooperative. Ooh, somebody doesn't like working with teams. Unfortunately. Bit of a lone wolf, but cowboys usually are. So, uh, what overall hero or villain matches him directly? Let's find out. Survey says, Dude, you said you were going to ruin this for me. No tier two quotes. Now, oh, come on, I can't have one joke. Not one TF2 joke. Give a brother a break, man. Dude, do not ruin this video for me. Move on from that, or I'm going to snap your fucking neck. Fine. It's Deadshot from DC. So, you know, I'm going to ruin the mood. And my joke. Thanks. Yeah. I'm going to have to reprimand his attitude later, everyone. My apologies. But we have Deadshot. Floyd Lungton. His overall ability. Well, I don't think he actually has one. He's just a mercenary for hire and he shoots stuff. Wait a minute, here it is. Superhuman characteristic, skilled hand to hand combat master, marksman, expert demolitionist. Yep, he's a mercenary. Oh. That's unfortunate. Next character of My Hero Academia. And we got Tego Takami, a.k.a. the hero, number two hero, Hawks. Ooh, now, I wonder who, like, mirrors Hawks. Now, I was thinking, like, of course, another X-Men character, but where's the fun in that? I decided to go with something a little bit more eh, heroic, I guess, these days. Kator, uh, okay, a.k.a. Hawkman. Ooh, or Carter Hall. Not gonna lie. Um... 
He can fly. Super strength. Abilities of a hawk. I think we're, uh, we're shooting for the moon on this one. And they got both hawk wings and they got a hawk of the name. Why not? Next one. So, from My Hero Academia, we've got Hashi Yamana, a.k.a. Present Mike. Ooh, does he have got a loudspeaker in his voice? Yeah, ladies, you do not want to hear this guy sing. He's got a horrible voice, but he's good for radio. So, what mirrors this guy? Well, it's going to be a bit of a transformative sound and we're getting that sound wave with the decepticons let's go if anything so i went with this because like president mike of course he's a radio dj and what was sound wave in g1 other than that of a walkman that played cassette players now eventually of course it would be made into a, like a radio player uh, CD player, um, boombox, uh, cell phone, and even that of a plane. That's one more time. The French next hero or villain of My Hero Academia. Ooh, we've got the infamous awful one. Oh, the taker and giver of quarks. And if anything, ooh, he's a naughty boy. And not gonna lie, still unknown if he's like Izuku Midoriya's father. Ooh, would that be a plot, McGuffin? And what overall hero or villain in the U.S. culture that mirrors him and possibly can be that of something of a father of? Well, none other than the X-Men's greatest enemy, Apocalypse, the father of all mutants. This guy. Oh, yeah, he's broken. He has superhuman strength, superhuman stamina, nine invulnerability. He could fly. He got teleportation, biomolecular acceleration. Oh, crystal energy regeneration. Oh, no, telepathy, teleokinesis, immortality, blood of the apocalypse. Oh, the abilities are through the roof. And if anything, if all for one fought this guy, I got my money and my bottom dollar on Apocalypse of X-Men. Because, no joke, he can't steal the mutant X gene. Because it's not a quirk and over one is not immortal. Ooh, that is number two. And I'm not going to lie. My money would be on Apocalypse 100%. <laughs> Last one, we're going to number one and we're not going to have any honorable mentions. Let's go. We got Toshinori Yagari, a.k.a. All Might. It's all right, the symbol of peace, the overall American dream for Japan, and if anything, number one hero. It's going to be a sad day when he passes away, not going to lie. But nobody lives forever. Who is he a classic hero of? Well, survey says the all American super soldier Steve Rogers, aka Captain America. Ooh, yeah. This guy is a super soldier. Oh, but if anything, many times it's shown that in continuity that uh, his super soldier serum does have quite the unique price. You see, it eats away his uh, overall bone marrow or certain health features where he falls into a comatose state and uh, super soldier no more, but still alive, you know, and like. Oh, so it can't be helped. He was putting it like an ice sculpture in the Arctic for so long. 
Now that didn't happen at all night, because the all might would not be all right. And the baby may our king department, if you get my trip, because oh, he does not have a healing factor. But we still don't know if that lost ability and he now a doe or from the first user or even that. Of the guy that looks like Bakugo. Could it be Bakugo from the past? Or the future? Or the present? Yeah! I don't care for theories. But I do like evidence. And right now, all we got is theories. And those who do theories on anime, television, cartoons, video games. And all that, like Matt, Pat, I'm gonna fucking eviscerate. I do not care for Matt and theorists. They turn stuff like this into the Stone Age. Well, I hope y'all overall enjoyed this little video. Because I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little kicked at a certain theorist guy. And I want to just, ooh, pinch his little head off and squeeze it like a goddamn grape. Mm. Maybe I should call like a uh, Giganta or maybe that of like a uh, a certain hero to uh squeeze his melon bit between her dang boobs. Ooh, that's a saucy little garbage. Put down hashtag Would you like Matt Pat's head to be squeezed between giant tits? And which one would you want it to be? Would you want it to be Mount Lady or Miss Giganta? Oh, yeah, because I would love to pay money of Giganta, squeeze his head between his, her giant overall backside of a caboose, or even that of mm, Mountain Lady doing potato, you know, giant titties. Oh, her opies, Matt Pat, your days are numbered, and I do not like you, and I don't forgive you either. Thanks for turning things into the Stone Age, you freaking idiot. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and ring the bell notification. Get updated videos. Maybe I'll do another top 10 like this in the future. But until then, I'm outie. Take care now. Bye bye, bit. Devin Lionheart is outie. And if anything, I'm watching you, Matt Pat. I don't think you're gonna get away.